This is my new CNC laser cutter. In this video you're gonna see me learning to use it. I filmed everything. The assembly, generating G-code, running the first test at 100% power. Um, yeah, that didn't go too well. In the end I actually made some really nice parts and I think it's gonna be interesting seeing someone use their CNC for the first time. So let's cut some wood. This is the K1 Pro. It's a laser cutter, so it cuts wood, it also does engraving, and it was kindly provided to me by Laser Tree. This is a huge moment for me. Not only is it my first CNC ever, but I started doing these projects just for fun, and the fact that I can get a CNC machine sent to my house is just insane. The K1 Pro has been assembled. I actually got the kit version, which also includes a work plate and an air pump. The work plate is useful so you don't burn down your table. The air pump is also very useful because when you're cutting the wood, there's fumes coming out of it and they can stain the surface. So the air pump just pushes them through. So inside this pump there are these punches for filtering and I got a few spare ones. The final thing I received, the build plate. I'm gonna be doing the first test. I need to connect the machine to my laptop. Full disclosure, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I watched about one and a half tutorials on this. But I'm gonna try engraving test one and then cutting a hexagon around it into this piece of wood. So now it should be just above the wood. Before I turn on the machine, I'm gonna put on my safety goggles. These block the wavelength of this laser, so if the laser would reflect, it wouldn't zap my eye. I also have the window open, so I won't suffocate myself to death. I didn't attach the wood to the work plate, so it just slid off. I set the power of the laser for 100% for the engraving process. So it just burned through the wood and also marked the work plate. A few tests later I was more confident in my abilities so I decided to make a functional part. This is a leg of my robot dog I'm building and it's meant to be jumping. So I needed something that would make this structure stable and I decided to make this part. It's basically just a wooden plate so I need to cut out this profile and then it has MK1 engraved on it so it looks better. Laser cutting wood is great and if you want something even more durable you can check out PCBWay. PCBWay offers laser cutting services. They can cut many materials up to 10 millimeters thick. They also offer sheet metal fabrication so they will laser cut and then bend the parts for you. Right now they have an anniversary, which means you can get a discount for pretty much everything. CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, you name it. So if you want to check them out, I will link them in the description. If you want to see exactly how I created the files for cutting and engraving, how I use GRPL to machine this, I'm gonna post that on my second channel.
And this is the final base plate. I cleaned it up a bit, nice black finish around the sides. Engraving looks awesome. This test stand works pretty well. You can see I already finished the robot looks like. So we made a nice functional part. But now I want to try making something artistic. You know the engineering cat profile picture I have? I want to put that onto my door. The crying cat in the middle and then Taser Engineering Headquarters underneath it. I've already designed it and look, it looks pretty cool. I basically just took my profile picture. I drew edges around it. I added Taser Engineering HQ at the bottom. And I also added two robots I'm most proud of. So this is the Hexapod, my first project ever. And this is the Ostrich robot, which is probably my most advanced project. I think it looks pretty fucking sick and I also can't wait to start referring to my room as headquarters. I also picked up this nice plywood, so this cost about $15, it's 6mm thick. Before that I want to see what this machine can really do. So I'm going to try cutting different materials and different thicknesses. I'm gonna go from the easiest one and work my A up to some experimental ones. 2.5 mm plywood at 1000 mm per minute. No problem, this was pretty easy job. 10 mm wood, 150 mm per minute. This was also pretty easy. 40 mm thick wood, 30 mm per minute. This was a real challenge for the machine, but it can cut wood up to 40 mm, and this is 40 mm. Yeah, it didn't cut all the way through. I think if I did multiple passes, it would be able to cut this. 2 mm painted acrylic, 200 mm per minute. I don't recommend doing this, it's just an experiment. Yeah, this isn't the great result. When cutting acrylic, make sure to use colored acrylic because it's actually meant for that. Now I'm gonna engrave the sign for my door. This is 6mm thick plywood. I'm doing 3000mm per minute at 20% power for engraving. And for cutting, I'm gonna be doing 350mm per minute at 100% power. Okay, now it's getting to the end of the engraving. So for the cutting phase, I'm actually gonna turn on the pump. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up a bit because the edge is always uh, messy from the cutting. I had the pump turned off for engraving and it really helped with the finish. Now I'm going to engrave and cut these three things. So on the left side there's an axolotl and a dog for my sister. And on the right there is a dinosaur, which is for me. I'm not gonna record the engraving and cutting process because you've already seen it. But I'm gonna show you the nice results. It's the next day, let's check out the results. These two things are gifts for my sister. So this is Axolotl and this is just a dog. Very nice quality. I really like the black edges. Then I got this dinosaur, which is just for me because I think it looks cool. This is the sign that I'm gonna put on my door. These are engineering headquarters. I got my profile picture. And then my two projects I'm most proud of. So I'm gonna give some closing thoughts on this CNC and then I'm gonna hang this on my door. It's easy to use. The setup was super simple. I just bolted down these extrusions. The second thing, which I really like, is the quality. This is perfect. Maybe you can see some defects, but to my eye, this is perfect. The main thing I don't like about this machine, it doesn't have an enclosure. So you have to wear these safety goggles. When it's cutting and engraving, it produces a lot of smoke, which is harmful to your lungs. 
I'm going to get an enclosure or build it myself. And this should solve both of these problems. These are my final thoughts on the 40 watt K1 Pro laser engraver. It's an affordable, easy to use CNC with very good results, but you have to be careful. You have to wear safety goggles and either use this machine outside or get an enclosure. Thank you very much LaserTree for providing me with this CNC. If you want to get it yourself, I'm gonna put some links in the description uh, with the Googles as well. Now I got official headquarters for my YouTube channel. Ignore this by the way.